Alright, we're finally gonna understand what the stupid dogs thing is about, I think. That's right, Parker. This whole game they've been talking about the dogs, and this is when we finally serve the dog. Hello. You're not a dog. You're not a dog at all. I can't serve you alcohol, sir. I know. Good evening, mate. Well, at least one of my employees showed up. Huh? What about Gil? He mumbled something about holes and pests and asked for a couple days off. Business as usual, then. Not quite. How so? I mean, us, not Gil. Business will be a tad different through the weekend. We got booked. That's a new one. Who made the booking? The Cypher Toy Company. They make toys for dogs. It's their anniversary or something like that. I usually don't reserve the bar. Why well, do it this time? The clients are adorable. Excuse me? You'll see. Anything special I should know? They'll give you a ticket to trade in for any drink they want. Just do your usual thing. Fair enough. I'll be in my office. Call me if you need me. Sure. I'm sorry, I don't know how to make Dana's voice different. I try, but it doesn't really happen. Well then. Uh. I think there's some new music in this one too. Whoa. I've un. Why? How do I have not lo unlocked. Musics? I guess there's a new. There's. I'd forgotten there was the thingy. Whoa. <laughs> Calm down, music. That's right, Parker. <laughs> I regret this immediately. <laughs> that is... That is incredibly distracting. There we go. It's better. <laughs> Time to mix drinks and change lives. Uh oh, Parker's foot is on the keyboard. Let me lock the keyboard. Um... Oh, what did you do? You fucker! <laughs> Guns! Uh... Great, I have to do this all over again because of you. I can't even, I can't even get out of, God damn it, Parker. I can't even leave. I can't even leave. Get, have a butt, have a beer, one. I can't believe this, Parker. I've been, I've been recording for two minutes and you have ruined everything. Mix, have a beer. All right. God damn it, Parker. Anything where the, the space bar skips things is extremely dangerous for Parker to be around. Alright. Prologue day one. <laughs> he wanted to get the dog off screen. Alright. Free bar. Oh, right, because the... Alright. Let's not do... Let's get rid of that one. That's right, Parker. Sure. Wait. Let's just do some calm, classy stuff. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Uh, <laughs> Lord Plumple Rump. Oh, excuse me. I'll have a grizzly temple. Hello. Why are you Game Boy colored? A dog. A talking dog. This is some talking dog music right here. Some good talking dog music. Are you at the Cypher Toy Company? Yeah. Did I run? <laughs> you can't say yeah when I've given you this voice. Quite so. Did I arrive too early? No. The clients are adorable. Son of a bitch. A grizzly temple, right? Coming right up. This dog wants a grizzly temple. Alright. Uh, three of thems. I also hear the the interface for the whatsoever. The, the, the original prototype was like all... Rough. All right, blended. <laughs> this one's kind of unbearable. There we go. Here you go. Thank you. This is gonna be a long weekend, isn't it? <laughs> Why are they all? They're all like old PC game colored, where they have a single, like monochrome, but with like dithering. Ariel Wienerton, amazing. Hey, is the Bronson extract here produced using organic roots? I don't know that information. Anyone I can talk to that would know about that? Here? Right now? No. But you should have that information on hand. I'm from the south, which is why I care about organic roots. Mm -hmm. 
Every BTC certified bar is no different from a fast food chain. Get the same supplies as anyone else. Have the BTC officials if you want to know. But you should. But we don't. But. Saying that we should over and over is not going to change reality. Are you sure about that? Give me something with lots of bronze and bronze and extract then. Okay. Yes, yes! You're a noisy boy! You thought there would be dog noise, but there is cat noise. Is bronze and extract bitter? Let's just find something. Okay, four? No. Yes, low! That one has five. That one has six! Okay, I think six is our winner. Would you please not? Okay. Okay, six is the winner. Where was that? There we go, Mars Blast. One, two, three, four, five, six. Powder Delta, Flanger, Stupid Flanders, and Carnivarp. Oop! Shit. Put too much booze in there. Powdered Delta blended. <coughs> well, this is enough to leave your face red like the actual planet. Spicy, manly, strong. Mars Blast, just for men. What the hell's this? Your order. This is what Bronson extract tastes like? Sorta, yeah. Well, fuck that nose. Not worth the effort. <laughs> no, it's not. Hello. Thank God, a person. Well, as much of a person as the designated driver can be. Oh no, he's the designated driver. Hey, fancy boy. I mean, is, why are there so many dogs? Why dogs? Why? Why indeed? Well, the Corgis created the Cypher Toy Company and they've been doing a great job, so... Company run exclusively by dogs, really? And a good one at that. Their only problem is that they have a not so discreet preference for hiring corgis exclusively. Dog racism. Why? Why dog racism? Something about being more comfortable around their own kind. Racism! I'm so. I, just, I don't even like regular dogs. And racist dogs? Uh, I can't be a part of this. The lasers in the song are to shoot the dogs. Well, I do prefer corgis, but. No, I mean, are you working with them? I mean, even even if it's preferring corgis, which I can understand generally, I don't know. What do you think, Parker? What do you think? The one time I need you to talk. He just wants belly pets. Yes, you do. Oh, don't kick. Yeah, well, I'm only here because the law requires at least one humanoid on the payroll. Does the law really cover such scenarios? Why take a job like this? Because it means I'm surrounded by corgis all day long. Designated driver woes aside, it's the closest thing to heaven. Was, was this his job before? That song was like 30 seconds long. Although, to be fair, I'm not much of a drinker anyway. I see. Well, to each their own. Are you gonna drink something? Do you have anything non-alcoholic? see what I can fetch you. Did you intend to make a pun? A pun? Never mind. That's right. All right. Something non-alcoholic. Um, I guess the the... They want something that's easier than, um... I guess it's supposed to be easy because it's the, like, demo or whatever. The prologue. Blended. Bleeding Jane. Stabby Gabby is always crabby. Stabby Gabby is always crabby. Thanks. You sure this is an alcoholic? Pretty sure. Okay. That's reassuring. Jill's really good at her job. Listen, I need to know, is it really only gonna be Corgis today? Is that all I'm gonna do tonight? Serve the same kind of dog over and over? The vast majority of them are Permbeg Welsh Corgis. There are a couple of Cardigan Welsh Corgis. The relationship between the two breeds is had difficult, so the Cardigans weren't invited. See, I guess we'll be serving the same kind of dogs all night. Just to save on art assets. I mean, for real reasons, yes. Isn't there some other human I might talk to today? <laughs> There's a woman on staff, but she couldn't come today. Oh boy. Is that a problem somehow? It's not really a problem. You survived worse than this. At that time when an AA meeting came here asking for non-alcoholic stuff only. We have plenty of non-alcoholic stuff. Just thinking about the fact that I'm serving drinks to dogs. Well, the point of my choices 
<laughs> at some point, all the choices in my life led me to serve drinks to a group of talking dogs. Why is this music so much louder than the other ones? In fact, I'm gonna turn down a little. I guess there's in-game volume things, but whatever. It's one of those moments that makes you want to stop and rethink where your life is going. Do you perhaps not like this job? I do! I love every second of this job. D dogs! It's like a fashion designer suddenly realizing she's been designing <laughs> edible underwear. I still don't see what your problem is with the dogs. I'm not going to force the subject. Well, I'm going to go out and try entertaining myself for a bit. Stuff is for playing pool is underneath the table. <laughs> the stuff for playing pool. There's also darts in the d box next to the jukebox. Hooray. Call if you need another drink. Sure. Lady Bonner, I'm feeling happy so I'll get everyone around. Actually, it's the free bar. I won't let you spoil my mood. I want a fringe waver. Coming right up. The dogs are half fancy and half of them are from the south. That's, that's the story. Whoa. I made a joke in my demo that I, I made something that was 90% alcohol. And <laughs> this one is literally just alcohol. Plus, just literally 90% and it looks like a uterus. Here you go. Still an awesome day. <laughs> Dragon fucker! <laughs> His name is Dragon fucker. Uh. Yo, what's an alpha male gotta do to get some service? He's MLG Kermit. I'm sorry. What may I serve you? Beer! And quickly! I got a 3 no 60 no scope some fools! Alright, we got we got some beer. If you never knew what beer is in beer, it's these. This is what beer is made out of. Four carpa barps. I'll never be able to pronounce that right. Mixed. Here's a beer. Damn, you're a slow piece of shit! <laughs> he really was Kermit. Amazing. Hey boss, what was the opposite of deja vu again? Jamais vu! Yeah, that. You have a, pre a premonition? Something like that. The dog felt uncannily familiar. <laughs> he did! He did. He felt like Kermit. Not really. I was playing with the darts a bit ago. I thought about playing pool, but... All the clients are rather thumb challenged. Sorry if this sounds rude, but why was the dart box so dusty? The first person in the year or so I've been here that's actually played with darts. I think even my boss forgot they existed. By the way, how are the dogs as clients? You've had worse. I guess. I guess we have. Have you had someone not come and gnaw chairs to pieces? Yes, she was testing out her new mechanical teeth. She got banned from entering any BTC bar after that. With anecdotes like those, you'd think serving dogs would feel totally normal. You'd be wrong, because even then we're talking about humans. Were we, though? I mean, don't get me wrong. I've served a dog or two in my time. They usually come in with someone, and they never talk. Now that I think about it, are these drinks bad for dogs? Now you worry about that? But no, they aren't. Only cappuccino monkeys are at risk if they drink these chemicals. Okay. Anyway, what, you want anything to drink? I like how we have, like, me mega science chemicals instead of just, you know, put a bunch of vegetables, mashed vegetables in a pot and let it rot for, like, a month. You know, that's, I'm sure that's exactly how alcohol is made. Surprise me, but keep it non-alcoholic. Non-alcoholic surprise. Whatever that means. Do we have something that's surprise in the name? <laughs> a gut punch sounds surprising. So yeah, let's go with that. Aged. Mixed. There you go. Thank you. This might sound weird to ask, but they talk through the collars, right? That's right. How do they work? It's not too hard, really. They're just translators. You read these dogs' brains and turn their thoughts into words? Do keep in mind that today's dog breeds have more cognitive capacity than their ancestors. But the translators on dogs from a decade ago, they wouldn't work like they do now. Yeah, I read something about that once. Another question, why are this one of those small tuxedos? It's good for PR. <laughs> you don't say. Well, it'll be a bit before we go for the day. Any other questions? Yes. 
Why the fuck do these dogs want to get drunk? They say humans do it, and they think it might be fun. I think I kind of imagine that dogs are just drunk at all times. Like, <laughs> that's just that explains so much. It's like teens then. Now then, if you'll excuse me, <laughs> Satan's helper. It's the opposite of Santa's little helper. What can I serve you? Moon. Excuse me. Moon. A moon blast. A big moon blast? Alright then. <laughs> the dog wants a big moon blast. I'd forgotten about the moon, the the big things. So you gotta make you gotta make them twice, basically. Uh so four of them's two of them's and two of them's on the rock, splendid. Come on now. Right. Moon. <laughs> Was that a good moon or a bad moon? Pesky furball. Good name. A rebase, bipse, lease pay. Crevice spike. Sure. You, ouye, nundersen, ime. I was a kid too. Dog wants a crevice spike. Pig Latin, amazing. Um, crevice spike. One, two, some Flanders. Some optional Blarpus. Blend, oh, fuck. Okay. Why does it make that sound? Uh, let's get this dog freaking ripped. There you go, blended. Ear hay. Hanks thing? Alright, one more drink before we wrap up. What do you want? I think his voice has gotten more posh every time I've attempted it. I'm not picky. Give me anything. Of course. Anything. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Two of them's. Two stupid Flanders. Four of them's. Rocks. Mixed. There you go. Thanks. So, what exactly you do? Sorry if that's rude to ask. I guess what I am people call an office boy. <laughs> I think. Okay. We downgraded, like, not administrative assistant, not secretary. Downgraded all the way to office boy. My duties usually involve looking for things, answering a few calls, that sort of stuff. But this being dog run company, there are a lot more responsibilities. I like getting stuff off of shelves and opening windows. At least they pay well. I see. How'd you end up in that position? Where'd you get that offer? My neighbor's the owner of one of the dogs. They told me he they needed thumbs. Figures. We're celebrating the company's anniversary, right? Yeah, five years ago, three corgis became dissatisfied with the quality of existing dog toys. So they found this company. They got the money from their owners, if I remember correctly. I can see that happening. STC is the second biggest dog toy company in the world. Fun fact. They started a cypher toy development. Ain't that unfortunate. Oh no! Ah, oh, I quit. Game, game's over. Uh. Hello! Bart's favorite sweetheart has arrived! Please... Don't... Just... Shh. Why are you quiet? I'm waiting for the audience to cheer to stop. Get get out of my bar. Get out. Out. This isn't a sitcom. Aw, oh, honey. How innocent. Um, excuse me. You are... I'm the lovely Dorothy A. You service. Wait, you're a little Not at your service, then. Don't be racist against what you are, weirdo. Don't be rude to other clients. Just kind of a regular here. I wish she wasn't. Kind of. I've been coming here religiously for the best three months. Three months? I'm glad that you're upset. I want you to suffer. I'm gonna poke your eye. How does, how does that feel? Can you even feel? Or is that, like, not what robots do? Look at her off and puff and blow your house in. Oh, 
I should blow something in anyway. I come here to see your charming face and you just say I'm just kind of a regular? <laughs> Missing apostrophe, er, not apostrophe. Quotation marks. Do I look like a sort of kind of gentleman to you? For shame, honey! For shame! I'm sorry, I guess. Nothing a free drink won't solve. Won't do. Huh? Are you playing hard to get? Even if I wanted to give you a drink for book for the whole weekend. Don't you think you should at least put a sign out front or something? Hey, I only found out myself a few minutes ago. But you can have one of my tickets if you're okay with that. I see, no problem. Oh, you're so sweet. If you at least 40% organic, I'd give you a discount. What, why, why, why is everyone racist against their own races today? Like, what, what is the deal with that? Like, dogs hate other dogs, and now you're weird. Uh, I just, just get out of my bar, please. Discount? You don't need to know. So, who booked you, this guy? The Cypher Toy Company. What do they do? They, uh, create dog toys. Oh, lovely. It's also run by dogs. Oh, don't joke like that. You think I kid about something like that? I mean, maybe. Kind of funny. Y you mean that if I turn around and see dogs? Are you scared of dogs? Good! Yes! I think she's scared of dogs, isn't she? I just entered without looking anywhere else but the bar. How was that even possible? Do you have bad peripheral vision or something? You look troubled. Yes! This is the one good part of her being... Yes! Oh my god, I hate you, Dorothy. Not that much of a dog person. I even charge my extra if my clients want a doggy style. Dog? <laughs> you don't need to know. Uh, why did we let you in here? I'm gonna take this ticket and trade it in Monday. I'm leaving right now. Ticket would have expired by then now. She looks like the kind of girl that would hold you to your promise regardless. Is that obvious? Well, I have to gather the cabs outside. Keep it up, bartender. Good night. Yeah, you too. Good night. Come again. Alright, sirs. The night's over. You have kennels you need to return to. We, we we had an open bar for like 20 minutes. All done? Yeah. Boss, how do you end up getting booked by dogs? I know some dogs myself. That just raises further questions. Huh. And you told me we're booked the whole weekend, right? That's right. Please bear with it. We're all doing our part after all. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go for today. Bye. Take care. Oh, just straight to the next thing. Um, the, it said that this um, version com comes with a new room customizable stuff. I figured that was for the from the prologue, but I guess it's in the main game that the new stuff is in. Because this does not seem to have midday breaks because it doesn't have money and stuff. So I guess next time we'll talk to more dogs, and so that'll be fun. Hooray, dogs.